Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing. For this month, I just got the base box. Um, this is for the month of May. I do apologize, I'm a little bit late. I know it's June, but um, I'm just getting a chance to film it. So you know how it goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first thing in the box is a rather large product. It is from the brand Hey Honey. It's called Come Clean and it is a facial scrub. It says it purifies and exfoliates with dissolving salt crystalline minerals. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. It says it retails for $29. Um, it says that the beads buff away dead skin cells, rehydrate the skin, and restore depleted minerals. Um, the result is clearer, smoother, and brighter skin. Well, I'm all for that. Um, it doesn't say to use daily, weekly, or anything like that. So... I would guess that it is friendly enough to use daily. Um, and it looks like it does have vitamin C in it. So this would probably be a, normally for an exfoliating product. I would use it at night after I'm scrubbing off makeup. But this could be good to use during the day. So I'm going to open this quick. So I can... Doesn't really have smell. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah, it's definitely got little like micro beads in it. Very scrubby, actually. Um, so maybe I would just use this at night because if I were to use this during the day, um, even though it says it hydrates, rehydrate the skin, which is interesting because it's exfoliating, and normally when you're exfoliating. You're not putting a lot of moisture back into your skin. You're sloughing off skin and um, you're normally told to hydrate after you do that. Um, so I don't think that I would use this in the morning because I probably would not have a heavy, of a, heavy enough moisturizer to use afterwards. But I am curious about it. It does look like it's got some good scrubby guys in it. So... Okay, next, I'm going to a brand I recognize. This is First Aid Beauty, or Fab, as some of you may have seen it. Um, this is Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. All their stuff is always like a mouthful. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> okay, so this retails for $30. Um, and this brand is known for having some good moisturizers. Um, I personally have only tried one and it was meh. So I'm excited to give this a whirl. So it's a primer and a moisturizer. And hold up. Gotta get to this. So we'll see what it smells like, if anything. Ooh. Ooh, it smells nice. It's very, very subtle, but it has a faint scent to it and it smells nice. Um, it feels very moisturizing. Let's see. You can tell we got a little bit of shine there. Moisturizing. Um, actually this could be a good primer. It looks like it's kind of blurring out my, um, like fine lines in my hands. So, can you even call them fine lines? They're just cracks. <laughs> but it appears to fill those in a little bit. So, <coughs> excited to test that out. Instantly brightens, hydrates, and smooths while helping blur the appearance of pores. Uh, Long-lasting makeup when used as a prep step. Okay, so you can wear it alone or you can use it as a makeup primer. So, 
All right, let's move on to the next product. Okay, so the next product I have is from TYNT. Let's see if that stands for anything. Nope. So I'm guessing that's just supposed to be tint. Um, tint Beauty. So this is the Haze Smoky Eye Pencil in the shade Black. Okay. So this retails for $18. Achieve, which I would say is on market price with it. Um, it says achieve both definition and blendability with this pencil. Unique formulation, okay. Allows you to create precision and feather edges with a soft dab of a fingertip or beauty sponge. This firm, this firm yet creamy formula glides with ease and creates a soft smoky eye and rich defined wing. Okay, so like I said, $18. Here's the packaging. It has kind of an ombre. Okay, so it looks just like, like an eyeliner or a lip liner. And obviously it's going to be a little creamy because I'm putting it over that moisturizer. But, oh yeah, goes on super easy. Um, let's see. And blends super easy. Okay, so my only concern with that is when it's too creamy and it blends super easy, sometimes it just kind of blends away. I mean, there's not a lot of product left right there. Um, but this could be good to use as like a base for a smoky eye. You can put this on, blend it out, go over top with a powder product, like an eyeshadow, um, and it will help that powder product pack more pigment as well as have more lasting power. So um, we'll give it a whirl. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And now we're like, you know, starting to go back out to places. So um, probably going to be doing a little bit more like sassy eye makeup looks um, instead of just like everyday makeup looks. So, okay, next, this is actually a product that I have tried before. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Um, it retails for $27. Um, and it's in like the same package. So I got a mini of this just to test it out. So it did not have this. I don't know if this is new or what, but um, it comes in pretty much the same packaging as Tarte Shape Tape. And so you take the top. It's got a Dofa applicator. Um, it's different than the shape tape though. Um, and then at the bottom, it has a little blending sponge. Any of you that have seen the Tarte blending sponges. So it's got that at the end. I personally hate products that have this cause like, how do you wash? Oh wait, it comes out. Uh. Okay, this one you can actually wash. All right, so that's good. But the other ones where you can't wash, hate them. Okay. Also, I would never use that. I'd just use my beauty blender. Okay, enough of that. Let's swatch it. This is in the shade Dream, which appears to be quite dark for me, but what's new? Unfortunately, a lot of the products that BoxyCharm sends to me are too dark. Like, and I'm fairly tan right now and will Oh, like I'll get tanner, but only slightly, like <laughs> about as dark as I get. But there's the color right here, but you can see that sheen to it. So that is what it does. And then you just kind of blend it out. And gives you kind of that sheen. Now, 
I would not use this in place of Shape Tape. It does not offer the coverage that Shape Tape does, so don't expect to get that out of this product. Um, it's more of like, use your Shape Tape and then put this on over top of it. Um, a lot of people will use it under the eye to brighten a little bit. A lot of people will use it kind of as a subtle highlight. So on the high points of their cheeks, um, eyebrows, nose, um, Cupid's bow, areas like that where they want a little bit more glow. Um, I've also, I mean, really, if you wanted to, you could use this underneath more of a sheer foundation um, because it does have a little bit of coverage to it. So you could kind of do like a bunch of dots, blend it out or go in with like a sheer foundation over top and blend it all together. And it would just kind of give you like a nice um, overall glow. If I were to compare this to a product, which I don't think they're quite the same, but for uh, to compare it to another product on the market i would say it's very similar to the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter that comes in the glass jar sorry i'm having siri thinks i'm talking to her sorry about that um but that comes in the glass jar with the gold lid this is very similar to that um this maybe a little more um practical because it's not quite as big of a package of it um and it's also plastic packaging so it's more user friendly um uh, more travel friendly um and this would be good for like a beach vacation or something like that where maybe you don't want to use a full concealer and you want to kind of have that glowy look but you want to you know cover some areas this would be good for that so um i think i'll be able to use this though blend it out it looks okay um it's not going to highlight as much on me as like if i were to go out and buy it i would buy a lighter shade so that it would be more of a highlight but um, I think this will work. Okay, next and last but not least, we have the Trustique Refillable Brow Pencil and Gel. Ah, okay, this is in the shade Mocha, which I can already tell you is going to be too dark. Mocha? I mean, my eyebrows are tinted and microbladed. My eyebrows are normally like blonde. So this is, I can already tell you, it's gonna be too, too, too dark. Okay, so how do we open this? Okay, so the pencil is similar in shape. It's kind of that um, triangular shape or it is triangular, but think like teardrop, so like a longer triangle shape like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Definer. So, you see that? That's the shape of it. Okay. Um, let's, I mean, we can try to swatch this color. I mean, that's dark. It's really dark. Um, it does have a nice dark, um, like neutral undertone to it, which I prefer my brows to have like that neutral or, um, almost cool undertone to it. I don't want them to look orangey or red. Um, and I feel like that looks better on a lot of people. Um, but anyway, a good color, a little dark for me. Um, but we're not fully writing off this product. And I, I'm not a huge fan of that triangle. I get what they're doing. They're giving you the option to shade or use the sharp end to do um, like flicks. But yeah, not for me. 
Okay, the other end, oh, it's tinted poop. Okay, the other end is the brow gel, which is tinted, and it's way too dark. So that's the brow gel color, way too dark for me. Um, but here's the brush, let me show you the brush. So it's shorter on the top, you see, and that goes about halfway around it, and then it's longer on the bottom. So I'll rotate it. So now it's, it's flipped, flip flop there. So I'll show you this way. Okay, so then that gives you the opportunity to, if you want more define brows, you can use the shorter side. If you want more fluffy brows, you can use the longer side. Um, also, you can just apply more product and then kind of brush it out that way. Um, and it says it's refillable. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing what you do is the refillable part is you get the middle um, and then you keep you keep your caps from each end. So you keep this and you keep this. And I'm guessing they send you the middle. Which I feel like, like I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to like be more environmentally friendly, but like I think I would want a new brow wand, like the applicator wand, because then it gets start to, starts to get unhygienic like yeah I will run anyway um okay so that retails for $26 unfortunately that product is definitely not going to work for me I was hoping the brow gel was going to be clear so you could at least try the brow gel out for you guys and let you know but like those are just too dark of colors for me personally. Um, so I will see if any of my friends want them, like any of my friends that have dark hair. Um, cause it is good colors. The brow gel is slightly warmer than the pencil, but like if you use them together, like you'd get, get a good combined result. So, um, and that, gel dried down pretty quickly so that's kind of that's nice for a brow gel um you know that when you set them it's set so that is everything that came in this month's slash last month's boxy charm uh i should have another one arriving soon um so i'll get that one filmed uh before the month is over <laughs> but is there anything that you guys got in your boxy charms over the last couple months that you are loving if so let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the next one